Thank you for clicking on this brief introduction to Conjoint Analysis and Sawtooth Software. What is Conjoint Analysis? Well, it's a popular research method for predicting how people make complex choices. It comes out of the psychology, economics, and market research academic areas from the 1970s. And today, well over 10,000 Conjoint Analysis studies are conducted annually by research firms, government agencies, and academia, and by companies of all sorts. Humans face between easy to complex choices each day. In business, we'd love to be able to somehow get inside our customers' brains, somehow get a quantitative report, some sort of snapshot of what makes each customer choose the way he or she does. Well, conjoint analysis does this. For example, consider you're going to go out to dinner and your, and your partner has asked you to choose a restaurant that evening. And you think in your head, well, there are three types of food that come to mind, restaurants nearby, American, Chinese, and Italian, and some of them are five minutes away, and some 15, and some 30 minutes away, and sometimes it's going to cost a little bit more. I know that particular Italian restaurant tends to be more expensive, and you think about how much money you're willing to spend that evening, and then critically, you think about how much you're going to please your partner by going there. A lot or just okay? These are the sorts of decisions we often make in a day. Well, in market research, we might approach this type of problem by giving you a survey and asking you, how important are these attributes to you? The type of food and the distance from your house, the typical cost per person, and how important it is that you uh, have your partner like it. It turns out in market research applications, we often want to know how important things are to people that we want to survey. Now the problem is that these folks have a hard time giving us good data on these sorts of importance questions. There's typically a lack of consistency in how they use the scale, called scale use bias. There's often a lack of discrimination among the items they rate. They often say that most everything's important. And a lot of respondents will just straight line because they're bored or don't want to really engage in the survey. Now, conjoint analysis, in contrast, asks people to make trade-offs just like they would do in the real world. And then, from that, we can derive what seems to be important to them. In other words, we say to ourselves, why not ask people to make the specific trade-offs like they do in the real world, and then figure out what must be driving people's decisions by observing the choices they make to specific contexts that are realistic. For example, as you're thinking about your restaurant choice for this evening, you consider one possible restaurant. There's a Chinese restaurant about 30 minutes from your house. It typically costs about $20 per person, and you think it might please your partner just okay. Well, there's other possibilities nearby. For example, there's an Italian restaurant about five minutes from your house, a lot more expensive, and you think it might please your partner a lot. Well, you might think about those two options. You got the Chinese restaurant, it's farther away, it's a little bit cheaper, and you think it might not please your partner as well as the other one, which is more expensive but closer to your house, and you can see that there's a trade-off involved. You know, you can't get really all the best things that you want every time, and we have to make those kinds of trade-offs every day. Well, we could ask you in a survey context which of those two you'd prefer, and we could collect your answer. And in fact, we could continue to ask you about such trade-offs with different combinations of those restaurants. In fact, there's three themes by three travel distances, by three cost levels, by two levels of pleasing your partner. There's 54 possible combinations in this simple example. But there's 1,431 ways that these combinations could be displayed in pairs of two options, for example. And you could consider a lot more complex decisions would lead to thousands or if millions of possible combinations that you as a researcher or business manager might want to be able to figure out. Well, what conjoint analysis software does is it picks very carefully a small subset of the possible combinations that we could display to people and sets of ways that we could show those combinations for each respondent, and it will typically choose about 8 to 12 sets for each respondent to evaluate. And they can typically do it in about oh, 2 to 10 minutes. Then we ask respondents which product profile or which alternative they prefer in each set. We use those answers, repeated answers across individuals of different scenarios and different combinations of levels to figure out how important each attribute is in driving their decisions and which levels within each attribute are preferred and by how much. 
what we get is a really neat market simulator, an interactive tool to help you figure out how people make decisions. In other words, to figure out what's going on in their brains. And if you had one of these, you could predict which of possibly 20 restaurants in your area would please you and would please your partner. If you're a marketer, you could predict how modifications to your existing product line or extensions of your product line would likely perform in the marketplace versus your competitor's products. That would be a really powerful thing to have. Satu Software is the consensus leading provider of conjoint analysis or discrete choice software in the world today. We've been in business since 1983. We're also the leading provider of conjoint analysis training events and conjoint analysis conferences. We have thousands of customers and we have a reputation for superior customer service. Our most popular products for conjoint or related trade-off analysis are CBC, also known as Choice-Based Conjoint, and we also have an adaptive variant of that called ACBC. We also sell Max Diff or Maximum Difference Scaling software. It's not a conjoint analysis technique, but it's a related best worst scaling method that shares many of the benefits and characteristics of, of conjoint analysis. Together, we put those with a powerful survey software platform for asking the rest of the questions in your survey called SSI Web. Please contact us today.